forward. Because if we turn the speakers up more, they click and clang and everybody screeches. So listen closely or move up. All right? That's the word for today. What, where are you going? Just sit down in the front. Um, just a couple of announcements. First of all, welcome to all of Amy and Bill Butchermowitz's family. And a couple of friends actually showed up. And that's great. And let's give them all a hand. Yeah. From Green Bay and Milwaukee. Any other, any place else? Florida. Kansas? Colorado. You guys Joe drove, Bakken. you drove all the way from Colorado and Kansas for Amy and Bill? Yes. That's cool. <laughs> Good to have you here. We got some Kansas people. Oh, yeah, you? Yeah. Um, by the way, this is Lynn Majum's brother right in here. Um, you know, Lynn tries to play piano. Oh, she's back there. <laughs> and her brother's here also this morning, so that's cool. And over in the car back there um, is Bill Bakken and Sharon um, Armstrong waving their hands out of the car. They don't want to get out because they might hear the sermon. <laughs> but don't worry, I've recorded a copy and they can put it in their, in their um, CD player and play it on the way home. A couple of announcements. Thank you to everybody this week who's helped with the Road Home program. We had a, another successful, busy week hosting 15 individuals who struggle with homelessness in our, in our church this week. That was great. Want to draw your attention to the I Love Lakeview Lutheran t-shirts. They are the 2010 Crop Walk shirts for this year. And you can pick them up if you love Lakeview. Um, they're $12. I see they've even moved it right out here for your convenience. So stop and pick them up. Don't forget the Crop Walk in Madison is October 17th. So mark that on your calendar. We, we usually have about 80 walkers from this congregation. And we raise from eight to $10,000. And that is our goal once again this year. This Saturday, a reminder that um, Habitat for Humanity will be building on the Capitol Square, actually on Martin Luther King Drive. We've gotten uh, permission to shut down the street, and we'll be having four build sites along, and 25 churches in the community will be participating. We're actually going to be building walls for a woman's home in McFarland. So if our building crew is Steel Showing, Travis Courier, and Lynn and Gary Case. And they'll be building from 8 to 9.30 in the morning on the square. So stop down, go to the farmer's market, stop over on King Street, check out um, what's all happening there. There will be a kids station, lots of kids activities at, at Habitat on Saturday. So uh, stop down and support that wonderful ministry that we're a part of. Remember that next weekend, our winter schedule resumes with church on Sunday at 8 a.m. and 10.30 a.m. with education time for everybody in between. Next Sunday begins the Joint Confirmation Adult Study at 9.15 in the sanctuary. It will be on Lutheran worship for eight weeks. So confirmation students and any adults who would like to participate are encouraged to come and be a part of that eight-week session. Linda Osterhaus and I will be leading that group, um, and there's a lot of exciting things planned, so we hope to see you there. We'd, I'd also like to say thank you to everybody who worked at the blood drive this week. Very successful blood drive on Tuesday. Thank you to everybody who volunteered, who donated blood, who brought in treats. It was a, a really great day. And the next one's coming up in January. No, next one's uh, November 10th. November 10th. November 10th is the next Red Cross blood drive. So we, uh, we look forward to that also. Note that um, we have an adult van trip coming up on October 6th. You can read about that in your bulletin, and you, at, the, at the information fair this morning, you could sign up to be a part of that. High school youth, don't forget if you're going to the Crow Indian Reservation on the summer mission trip, your, your registration forms and your $50 deposit needs to be in my office by October 3rd. So don't delay, that's gonna be a great trip, and we'll start planning as soon as we get everybody's um, money in. There is a salad supper coming up with a, a guest writer, and you can read about that in the worship book. We're encouraging everybody to join choir, 
Yep, see Lynn waving back there? That means join choir. Just about everybody's being invited to join choir. There are only about three of you here that I prefer that you not. And I won't name your names, but you know who you are. Um, the choir starts this Thursday night at 7 o'clock in the church sanctuary. Be there. After choir's done, we go to Culver's for ice cream. Lynn treats. Right. Oh, yeah. I treat any new members. Oh, she'll treat any new members to choir. So, uh, so come up. Well, she will this year. I'll talk to her about it. Um, immediately, as part of the conclusion to this morning's worship service, we will start a line here at the toilet paper and we'll um, make a human chain all the way around to the food pantry where we'll pass the toilet paper for Randy Matthews in the food pantry and her crew to hand out throughout the year. So um, be a part of the chain. I'll give you direction when we get there. Linda, did you want to say something about, or did you want me to say something about Tuesday night? Okay, there's a healing service this no, Tuesday not, night. No, it's not in there, but there there's a healing service this Tuesday night in the chapel here at what time? 6.30. 6.30. We have a winner, Renee Puzak from the properties table. Had a little drawing that I hope a lot of you contributed to. And the winner gets this handsome Eglu cooler. And the winner is... Are you ready? I've got to read exactly what he's written. <laughs> Dale Matthews with the correct guess of 45 filters. He writes 45 filters unless Dean flaps his tongue. I don't get it. <laughs> so we have 45 furnace filters in the building. Randy says, where's Dale? Hey, Dane. Come here, Dane. Run up here and get this for Grandpa. Thank you, sir. Let's all cheer for Dale winning 45 filters. He's good. I'm going to invite you to remain seated as we sing Baptized and Set Free. It's the first hymn in your worship book. Yes, it will sound a little tinny on the piano. Just sing good and loud and overcome her plane. Take it away. <laughs>
The readings this morning are not the assigned readings for this weekend, but they've been selected because this is Rally Weekend. It's the beginning of a new year. It's the day that we come back together and celebrate that we are one through our baptisms in Christ our Lord. It's also the day that we welcome Ada, Ada Jane to the baptismal fund. And so it's a perfect day for all of us to remember our new beginnings in our baptisms. And so we read from Romans, what then are we to say? Should we continue in sin in order that grace may abound? By no means. How can we who died to sin go on living in it? Do you not know that all of us who have been baptized into Christ Jesus were baptized into his death? Therefore, we have been buried with him by baptism into death, so that just as Christ was raised from the dead by the glory of the Father, so we too might walk in newness of life. For if we have been united with him in a death like his, we will, be, we will certainly be united with him in a resurrection like his. And from the book of Acts we read, Now when they heard this, they were cut to the heart, and they said to Peter and to the other apostles, Brothers, what should we do? Peter said to them, Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ so that your sins may be forgiven, and you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. For the promise is for you, for your children, and for all who are far away, everyone whom the Lord our God calls to him. And he testified with many other arguments, and he exhorted them, saying, Save yourselves from this corrupt generation. So those who welcomed his message were baptized. And on that day, about 3,000 persons were added. They devoted themselves to the apostles' teaching and fellowship, to the breaking of bread, and to the prayers. 